Well, it's official. People were like, no, it's not going to happen. But Disney is going to slowly start pulling all their stuff off of Netflix, which, yeah, obviously, because they have their own streaming service coming. I mean, Ray Charles but it's not, it's see this coming. Not the, it's not the Defenders shows, is no, it? No, no. Yeah, they're, they're staying put. Well, I, I, anyway. you got to think about it. ABC, Netflix, and Disney are making the Defenders and all that. They're going to be available on the Disney service, just not day and date. It's probably going to be like a year's yeah. time or something, but they'll yeah. be on there eventually because it's all Disney branded. But what I want to talk about here is what people are kind of missing. When Bob Iger came out and said this, he also said that they're going to be developing five to six live action shows exclusively for this service, and they're based on their most popular properties. Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel. Yep. Garen fucking T that is a launch title. Like there is no way that's not a launch title. Yeah. You know, it, it it's in line as well because Jeff Loeb has said that the odds of her crossing over with humans is pretty small. Mm-hmm. So well, which is kind of a shame. But, let's know. be real. Inhumans probably ain't gonna last that long. <laughs> oh. I mean, just can we just give it a second season? Yeah. <laughs> like like, just, just let them let them fix it. Let them try to make something that resembles something decent. Yeah. But uh, yeah. so They're definitely Miss Marvel. Um, who else would you make? So, the thing is, when you think about this Disney streaming service, it's going to have everything, every facet and branch that ABC has, like all the history of shows and everything, their entire movies. So I'm seeing this as a more family oriented entire thing miss marvel makes sense i'm also thinking because this would be a great way to localize this you launch it in the uk with captain britain i mean sure um uh would i do captain britain personally I mean, we um, know they were searching for locations. We know they were yeah. developing, and we know they were even as far as having actors and looking at suits. This has to be somewhere in that fucking development wheel. Maybe they're holding it, because there is no way that they launch without a TV show, and probably, you know, it's got to be something that's going to get people interested into this. Like, See, I was thinking they do their own Defenders, and they you know the perfect one right now for a disney streaming service would be the champions mm. especially if they start off with a miss marvel you have the leader of the champions right there the question is who else do you do who else do you bring on that team and i can't we could i suppose maybe do a young avengers and like you have like america chavez hulkling wiccan you just but you just cut ties like the wiccan and scarlet witch for like or whatever they were so- mother- Whatever, but... I think it kind of hitting it on the nail on the head there. If you want to miss Marvel and then you say, oh, there's going to be a big team up, you could literally do like, like you said, champions or something that's kind of getting a good mainstream attention because it has all that diversity. And I think you could pull off American Chavez. That's a perfect character to get all hmm. the spotlight, you know, no, when you put that on there. But you haven't got to worry about a costume because she wears basically street clothes anyway. Yep. You know, the only thing really is... Uh, even her powers aren't really that CG heavy. She just teleports to different dimensions and mm-hmm. be cheap with that. But I just can't think who else. Uh, well, I mean, being real, they're going to play around with who's in it. It's definitely not going to be the comic incarnations. We know oh, that no, for a fact, you, you know? Because yeah, that's, you know, what, Miles, Nova, Hulk, yeah. Falcon, Vision's daughter, Viv. You ain't going to get that. No, I... But realistically if they get a tv show if nova doesn't become a movie i could see them throwing sam alexander in there but that all depends on if nova does get a movie or not that's i i think you i can i don't see them shying away from nova he's too big of a cosmic player yeah if they're setting that up to be the big like tentpole of it then you can't dodge it now here's the feeling i had when i was thinking about this when i wrote down this topic now I know this is a little bit of a stretch, but crazier shit has happened. Universal Comcast is the owners of Hulk, right? Like, it's Universal Comcast. It's the same company. Universal has their entire TV division. They got, like, Sci-Fi, you know, NBC, like, a bunch of these other 
substations that they own that you wouldn't think outright. I could honestly see them allowing Marvel to do like something like Amadeus Cho or something and use him in Champions and keep that deal going. Like you have a Hulk here, you have this type of Hulk here, and he's the you know smaller, yada yada. But I think that would be a great character because once again, remember, diverse, diverse, diverse. That's what this is going to need. But if that's an Asian like... as the star, you got it. Yeah. But I suppose you, you could, I suppose you could do Hulk and Hulk thing in the same thing, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that's a, that's a lot of CG for a new, I know it's Disney and like money is not really an object. But I, th- Hulk would be a lot of CG. I think we're hitting the point where CG is becoming cheaper and cheaper. I mean, you see it with a lot of TV shows, but they're like, they're looking better and better. And I mean, the technology Disney is developing is so far ahead of other people's because they own Industrial Light and Magic. And you see some of the... I mean, watch Agent Carter. When she's walking through New York, You, it looks like 40s New York. You're like, oh my God, that's entirely yeah. CG. Like, they they understand how to use it. And if you did it right, I think you could pull off, you know, like Amadeus Cho on a TV budget. And don't get me wrong, it's going to be shrouded in dark to make it look better and stuff, but still... <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, th- I think that's definitely the route that they go with it. Mm-hmm. Like, let's get the, the 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 diverse younger character like, on the screen, and maybe Young Avengers. I suppose you could, or even possibly call it the next Avengers, and like maybe not have the kids of like Steve Rogers oh, and all that. But dude, I still keep forgetting we're getting new warriors. What? We are. <laughs> I forget that every single week. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, yeah, new warriors exist, huh? Hmm. When when's that supposed to be out? I don't. I assume next year. Uh, it's they cast Squirrel Girl like three months ago, and then nothing since. I thought we got more than just Squirrel Girl. Oh yeah, no, they did cast the rest of them. So they're probably. Yeah. Think they're shooting. <laughs> hmm. uh, they must be shooting soon. Yeah. But yeah, that, that that just came and. I suppose that fits with the uh, new warriors history. Like it comes, it goes, it comes, it well, it's goes. Like, we have new warriors. No one's heard nothing. Cloak and dagger. We've had a trailer. Runaways is coming in two months. There's been nothing on it. Not even an official trailer. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Apparent, apparently, Hulu do this thing where they hold it back to the last month and then just like face rape you with everything. So November but... is literally going to be the in, most insane month we've had since like forever. Great. Oh yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Oh my god. And apparently the, the buzz from um Runaways is really good. So. Yeah, apparently, yeah, so that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, ah, I so... look forward to not being able to watch it. Thanks, Hulu. <laughs> Don't worry. Wait till twenty nineteen Marvel <laughs> streaming. We'll get it there. Yeah, that's yeah. true. 